going to show you how to make kimchi fried rice today. First you need kimchi obviously. Um, I'm going to make it for five people today. It's I just got three big handful of kimchi. Usually the fermented ones taste better for kimchi fried rice. So these are pretty well fermented and I'm just going to cut them up into small pieces. A lot of green onions are used for Korean cooking and um, what I usually do is when I get the green onion from market, I just cut the green part and use that part for my cooking and the white portion, the bottom portion, the root portion, I just soak them in the either water and it just regrows this big or sometimes I plant it or so in the pot and I use it over and over for, I think I could do that for at least three times. For kimchi fried rice, I usually put spam. I mean, who would not like spam? <laughs> so this one, I'm gonna just use two thirds of it. I'm gonna slice them into small little dices. On high heat, I'm going to put some grape seed oil and place the green onions and stir fry until the, all the flavors are soaked into the oil. Once it's semi-cooked, it's time to put the spam in. Spam and kimchi are a really good combo. Once the spam is semi-cooked, I lower the heat to medium-high. Now it's time to put the kimchi. I usually make kimchi fried rice when I have a lot of um, leftover rice. Um, this is a great way to get rid of the leftovers and make yummy new dish <laughs> I usually do the ratio where it's half rice and half kimchi When everything is mixed well, just kind of flatten the rice and let it cook at the bottom. You might be wondering how I get the purple rice. I mix one to one ratio of white rice and the brown rice and a little bit of whole barley and the wild rice. I add one teaspoon of oyster sauce at the end to enhance the flavor. Taste and see if you need any salt added. Uh, mine was good so I didn't add any salt.
Korean fried rice always need egg on the top, so let's fry eggs. I don't add any salt to the eggs because we're going to eat it with fried rice. Add few flakes of sesame seeds on top. Time to dig in. It tastes really good with miyoko, by the way. <laughs> Thank you for watching.